what does 21P mean? What does 21S mean? What does 18A mean? How do you read style codes? What do these codes mean? So in this video, I'm going to explain all of that to you. Everything I know about Chanel. And in case you don't know me already, hello, my name is Amy and I'm a big, big fan of Chanel. I know a lot about the brand enough to talk about it constantly on my channel so hopefully you'll find this informational before we dive into all the nitty-gritty i want to thank today's video sponsor a lot of you already know about samorga but in case you don't they are a company in south korea that makes felt organizers they've also started producing their own accessories for handbags such as bag chains pearl chains a number of different styles and they're always innovating i'm gonna link up here the playlist of all the previous items that i've featured from them but for today i wanted to feature the felt liner that i got for this little bag yes even for this size bag they have something to protect the inside which is amazing as you can see on the inside right now i have a samorga liner in the long term i definitely want to protect the interior of all my bags especially nowadays we pretty much always have to bring hand sanitizer with us so i definitely don't want any liquid spilling inside of any of my bags and so i was so excited to receive this because as you can see it fits exactly to the dimensions of the interior because every single item is custom because this bag is already so small they use their newest thin felt which is 1.2 millimeter felt it also has a little pocket right here which is actually enough to put a credit card even inside your bag and unless i need it for structure such as my chanel 19 because this is a puffer bag and it is in lambskin which is very soft for this bag i actually really like the classic two millimeter felt so if i didn't have a structured organizer inside then over time, especially with storage, it will start to crease. I'm gonna link this product down below and my coupon code if you wanna use it to save a little bit at checkout. Looking at this first tag here, which belongs to a handbag, which is shown right here in the little picture, we have 18C, which is the season code. We're gonna talk about what C means in a moment. Underneath this, we have the style code and then underneath that the serial code this is a unique identifier for this handbag in particular and it also corresponds to the actual authentication card that comes with it we'll be looking at that in a moment as well this second picture here is another type of tag just in a different format so again 08P would be the season code. As you can see, Chanel has six different collections which are released at different times of the year. And some of them are on a runway. Some of them are not. It is not a runway collection, which is why we call it a pre-collection. So it's almost like a precursor of the actual runway collection. This last column here, I am just showing kind of like the easy way to remember what the letter stands for. So for me, I remember P as being the Spring Summer Act 1 collection because P in Printemps, which is spring in French. Pre also kind of stands for the Act 1. So sometimes they say spring, summer, Act 1, but sometimes you can also say pre spring, summer collection, which stands for the same thing. So pre means Act 1. So basically, if a collection was referred as 20P, then you would know that it came out in the spring, summer, Act 1 collection in 2020. So the collection that was released around February or March in year 2020. Moving on to S. So S stands for the spring, summer collection Act 2, usually released between April and June and it is a runway collection so you would typically be able to watch that collection online or on YouTube or even on Chanel's website. For S, the easy way for me to remember is that S stands for summer. P and S stands for the spring summer collection. One is Act 1 and one is Act 2 and Act 2 is always the runway collection. Moving on to A, A is the Métier d'Art collection. It is usually released in July, so July, August, and it is a runway collection. And the way I remember A for pre-fall 
or A for métier d'art is the fact that A is in the word autumn. B follows A, that's kind of one way I remember the order as well. B is the Fall Winter Act 1 collection. It is usually released around September, October, not a runway collection because it's the Act 1, so it's the pre-collection. And like I said earlier, B follows A, that's how I remember it. K is the Fall Winter Act 2 collection. It is usually released in November, so November, December. It is a runway collection because it's Act 2. B and K, I just kind of memorize it for Fall Winter. Act 1 and Act 2 collection of Fall Winter. And last but not least, we have C for the Cruise collection, usually released at the end of the year, so December, January. It is a runway collection, but when we say 20C, it is actually the collection that was released in 2020 December or 2021 January. The release date is different worldwide. I typically find that USA and Europe gets them a little bit earlier. In Canada, Australia gets them a bit later. Um, Asia also, depending on the country, tends to get them a bit earlier as well. So it really depends, which is why there is such a wide range in the timing of when it's released. Every year, there are four runway shows and two pre-collections. And the pre-collections are the ones that are precursor to the spring, summer, or fall, winter. There's no pre-collection for the métier d'art, nor for the cruise. V, or R-E-V, basically means that that collection is a classic collection, or it's a continuous style. So those are also referred as revolving or permanent, and they come out at every single season. So we're talking about the classic flaps, we're talking about costume jewelry that comes back every single season. Uh, they won't necessarily have a season code except for the first time they were released. If they are ever re-released in the future and they become permanent, they often just have the V stamped on it or REV on the tag. All right, so I hope that now the season code makes sense. 18C would be 2018 Cruise Collection. 08P would be the 2008 Pre-Spring Summer Collection or Spring Summer Act 1 Collection. So if we look at more tags, this right here is a headband that I bought recently. So the tag here says 21S, so it means it's the 2021 Spring Summer Act 2 collection. Same thing here on the receipt. Let's try to read what that style code means. So right here we have the season code as we explained earlier, followed by the style code. So the style code comprises of three sets of alphanumerical characters. The first set right here is the style of the item. The second set refers to the material and the hardware combination, followed by the color. Right here, A69900 would correspond to the style, so it's this style of bag. Followed by Y83312 would be the hardware and material combination of this bag. Followed by 4B364, which is the color of this bag or the color combination. Obviously, you don't have to memorize or even know what these mean, really. Um, I have right here a list of what these styles can be. But then again, I mean, look at these. It's just a bunch of numbers, right? They just represent different style of handbags in this case, um, colors, you have the classic colors, but you also have seasonal colors. So there's just really no way for you to remember this. Just know that whenever we are referring to a style code, if you want to locate this item with an essay or if it's from a particular season, that's what you would need. Once you kind of recognize what these mean and you know that it's six characters followed by six characters followed by five characters, then it's really easy for you to sort of see it and know what it means and 
locate these style codes. So even if we come back to my receipt here, this is my receipt for the headband that I bought recently. You would see that the style code is actually right here. So the first part of the style code is right here. AB6143 is for the headband, this headband right here. B05547 refers to the material combination of this item. So lambskin with some hardware. And NC155 is the color. So in this case, we have gold color and black color, which is also described here, doré noir in French. And then obviously 21S is the season code as we spoke about earlier. Here we have AB6143 is the style, B05547 is the material, and NC155 is the color for this headband, Sertet. Now, if we look at this receipt right over here, which is not related to this item, this is just a receipt that I found online. This whole thing is the style code. A37587 is the style of the item. Y04150 is the material and 10601 is the color. So even if you were to want this exact item, so it's this bag, uh, but you want it in a different color, you could easily tell your essay that you want this style. So just give her or him the first set of numbers, but you can just tell her, I want it in red. The most common is definitely black. So definitely you do not need to memorize any of these, just know what they mean uh, and the order of how it's displayed on a tag. Just know what they mean so that you can reference them at any time in the future. The serial code or the serial number that are located on different handbags. I just found these online and I just wanted to show you how it typically looks like. The way we read it or even the way we usually refer to them is by saying it's a 13 series. So 13 would be a much earlier bag than a 22 series bag. On the right side, we have a picture of a handbag and the serial tag that it was attached to this bag, as well as the authentication card that came with this bag that also represents the same number. These numbers are unique, like I said earlier, and also I am hiding the last portion of the number because a lot of replicas out there try to steal these numbers to put on their bags, which is why I'm hiding the last portion of this number. All you need to know is that this number is also referred or known as the date code or the authentication code or the serial code. Authenticators will typically look at the sticker, the fonts, and even the fonts of the card. And of course they will have to look at the bag, but that's just one way that they look at an item to find out if it's authentic. It also gives you an idea of when this bag was made, and we'll look at that in a moment. The placement of where this sticker is varies by the bag and the small leather good but they're usually tucked into areas that are not easy to reach on this slide we can see the date code and the corresponding year of when they would have been made and of course it's kind of an estimate because it just depends when they roll out to the next number like i said in 2021 we're already in the 31 series but this gives you an idea of when your handbag was made, especially if you bought a pre-loved or a vintage item, then you can sort of tell uh, when it was made. So I have a 13 series jumbo single flop myself. So I know that my bag was made around 2009 or 2010. The seven number serial code started in 1986 to 1988. So during these three years, we started having this date code format, which consists of a zero in front and a total of seven digits. So what about before? Between 1984 and 1986, there was only six digits. And before 1984, there was actually no serial code. So if your bag was pretty old, meaning if it's older than 1984, then there would not be any serial numbers. It only started in 1984 and it started with six digits and then they had to move on to seven digits. So from 2005 to the present, we're still 
in the eight digit serial code. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight digits. All the information that I referenced are found in these websites. I will also be listing these in the description box in case you want to read them. So if you just go to the Chanel website and then you click on bags, if you scroll all the way down, you would find this section right here. So when we talk about classics, we are usually referring to the classic flap. Typically looks like this. You know, it has a double flap, CC turn lock with the intertwined chain. Um, this is what we refer as the classic Chanel bag. And this is a style that comes back every single season. I think even the 2.55, which is the reissue bag with the Mademoiselle lock, so the square lock, typically with a distressed caskin leather. So this style right here is also commonly known as a classic. Now, there are other styles of bags from Chanel that are not typically referred as classics, but they are permanent, a style that comes back every single season. So if we take a look at the Chanel 19 bags, for example, yes, they come in different materials, colors, that's seasonal, that's the seasonal aspect of it. But the style itself, which has this larger CC brooch, a very chunky chain top handle, and uh, well, the actual chain is also intertwined with the leather brake. This style is known as a permanent style. So sometimes we would say that this is classic because it's permanent, meaning that it comes back every single season, but the material combination color can be different every single season, and that's the seasonal aspect of it. If you scroll to the right, if you use these little dots here on the bottom, you would see that the Chanel Gabrielle and the boy bag are also part of the permanent line. Like I said in the presentation, most Chanel bags are considered seasonal. They do have a few permanent lines. Some seasonal bags, such as the Coco Handle, the Trendy CC, the Mini Flaps, they will come back very often. Uh, in fact, every alternating season, they usually come back. But even within their classic family of bags, their leathers and their textures, as well as the colors of the materials, are also seasonal. A caviar from 17C will be different than the caviar from 17B. They will usually differ slightly, either in the sheen or in the saturation of the color or even in the pebbling. All my caviar bags are slightly different. They don't look alike at all. They are called caviar because of the pebbling detail, which is an artificial grain. Maybe their batches of leather are also different in between season. So they always are a little bit different every single season. And just case in point, this is my uh, 2009 or 2010 jumbo classic flap in the single flap. And as you can see, the pebbling on this is much larger. And it's also much flatter as opposed to this one. This one is my 17C mini flap in the square and you can definitely tell that the pebbling is a lot more textured because you know as i'm touching it i can feel each little pebble the leather of this season was also a little bit tougher it just feels like the coating is a little bit more thicker and so the leather even looks shinier this is my 2018 b collection caviar and as you can see this caviar is softer you can see some creasing, but it is also the style because it's a bucket style and it is not structured, not as structured as the mini flap or the cocoa handle, for example. So as you can see, this one is like a matte caviar and it's a little thinner. Whereas this one, this one also looks different, right? This one looks very uniform. The leather itself feels a little sturdier. It's still a matte leather. The pebble size is also on the smaller side, but it's just different, right? These are the two cocoa handles that I own right now, and they are a little bit different. In general, I find that cocoa handles tend to use a matte caviar. But they have also made cocoa handles in a shiny caviar as well. It really just depends on the season. But in general, I find that they prefer using a more matte caviar for their cocoa handles. Finally, I have two of my red bags. They are totally different texture, right? 
even though both are caviar they just look different they feel different this one the quilts feel more bouncy whereas this one it's a soft caviar you can feel it when you press on it it doesn't bounce back as much it's still beautiful it's just a different season i think you get the idea now basically even if you were to compare two exact same bags style but in different seasons then they will have completely different leathers even if they're both in the same color say black and in caviar they will still slightly differ this one was a season where they did an iridescent cast skin and i would almost call this a caviar i guess there is a bit of a pebbling so um yeah actually it is a caviar i suppose the pebbles are so tiny that i almost forgot that it was a caviar so yeah this was a calfskin in their iridescent black color which is so pretty and this is also a calfskin except that this one is an embossed calfskin two more examples of calfskin and by the way most caviar skin are made of calfskin as well but there are seasons where it's actually a lambskin caviar so even though it's called caviar it does not necessarily mean that it's a calfskin although usually it is i would say 99 percent of the time it is but some seasons they actually do have a lambskin caviar anyway back to another texture of calfskin and it is the distress calfskin so i have two examples right here both of mine are the gabrielle style handbag and as you can see two different seasons my burgundy bag has a more robust a much thicker distressed calfskin like you can really feel it i'm pressing in it hard and it's bouncing back whereas my classic black one has a much thinner calfskin um, both of them are distressed distressed meaning it's a little age looking like a vintage style but this one is not as thick it just feels a little softer up next i'll show you two of my lambskin bags but these two lambskins are very different so i have their classic lambskin the most classic of lambskin that you can get at chanel but again even different seasons of lambskin will feel different this is another lambskin bag yes my chanel 19 is made of lambskin they call this the shiny lambskin if you look at them side by side the Chanel 19's lambskin just feels thicker feels like there's a bit more of a coating it does have more give like it has more substance in a way so it feels a lot more durable in the luxury community nobody calls any other bag a classic bag aside from the actual classic flap in the double flap uh, every other bag is still considered seasonal but still the Chanel 19, the Gabrielle Le Boy, they're all considered a continuous permanent style. I have one Chanel bag in fabric and it happens to be from the season where they made this beautiful houndstooth tweed. Especially if you follow each collection from Chanel and if you're in this luxury community, you would probably understand when I say black and white houndstooth with the Chanel ribbon across. Like most people will probably know that it's from this collection from 20. S, I think this was from 20S, then you would just kind of like, oh yeah, that's the one. So that's how you kind of, I guess, remember or know which leather or which material it was. However, when you communicate with your essay, you usually probably want to give them the actual style code. So anyway, I hope that this was informational and that you found it useful. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, especially if you love this type of content. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye! Thank you.